hello there and welcome to the channel and in this video we're going to be asking and answering this one question why are the branches on my lovely Japanese maple dying well it probably isn't your fault um, but what we're going to do we're going to explain what it is why it's happened what can you do about it and uh, hopefully that'll give you some advice that you can uh, use to your own benefit. Okay, so um, flipping aces, they're a pain in the butt nowadays. Let's go, and, let's go and check out this thing. So spring has arrived, your, your coveted Japanese maple has, uh, has emerged in gorgeous lush growth. And then you're looking at it closely and then suddenly at the back of it you're thinking, what the flipping heck is that? you see a load of dead branch work up there now what the heck is going on you know it's been raining you know the sun isn't particularly hot so it shouldn't be scorching uh, so what on earth happened well there is a reason why this has happened and you see it a lot once you get your eye into it and that problem is this it's verticillium wilt you might not have heard that before but believe me you're going to know all about it in a minute and you're going to see it flipping everywhere now verticillium wilt is a soil borne water mobile pathogen. It's a fungus, it enters the, uh, the plant through the root system and starts making its way throughout the plant through the xylem. And the xylem is the water carrying part of the vascular bundle that, that travels throughout the, um, the plant. So it's like, your, um, it's like your vascular system, all your blood vessels and veins and all that. It's the same sort of thing in the plants that you don't have a heart pumping it about, it does it with its fancy magic scientific way of doing things. Anyway, verticillium well, it's a pain in the butt. And why is it that you see it everywhere? Well, the answer to that is this. It's all about money. Now everybody loves aces and there's a huge selection and varieties for you to choose from, but the problem is these won't grow truth from the seed, they all have to be vegetatively propagated and that means they're usually grafted and grafting is expensive. So what you find is that the big industrial nurseries in Africa and Europe, they are producing vast quantities of these aces in order to get them cheap enough to get into your supermarkets to sell for a few pounds. And the problem with that is this, they are just cutting and cutting and cutting into thousands if not millions of plants and if you get if you get the disease on your knife and you start cutting into otherwise healthy plants, you are transferring that infection from plant to plant to plant to plant, and that is why you see loads and loads of plants with verticillium wilt. Or do you? Why is it that the nurseries or in the garden centres they do not show signs of verticillium wilt? Well, there's a reason for that too. There isn't as yet a fungicide that you can spray onto your aces in order to clear it of verticillium wilt. However, commercially there are some fungicides that you can apply to the plants that will hold back the uh, the effects of the, the fungus so that when it gets to you, when it gets to the shop you'll buy it from, it still looks in good condition. But the trouble is as soon as you get it home and keep it there for a few weeks, it's no longer being sprayed with a fungicide that's holding back the issue. And uh, slowly but ever so surely, the signs, the telltale signs of verticillium will, will eventually start to show up on your leaves. Okay, I'm back in my chair and I'm going to talk a little bit about science. So, the part of the fungus that is like a root called the hyphae, that travels through the vascular system. And as it travels through, and the vascular system gets small and thinner as it goes up to the, the leaves and the top bits, the, these hyphae or spores, whatever they've got, sort of like growing out of them, start to block parts of the plant. So, the vascular system, if it's blocked, sorry, if, if the xylem is blocked, water can't pass through it. So the part of the leaf that is fed by that water will dry out. So when you look at leaves uh, on these aces that have verticillium wilt, you will start to see a little bit of a checkerboard effect. It'll be a little bit of dead bit there, a little bit of dead bit there. And, uh, and it is quite characteristic once you get your eye in. It doesn't look like um, drying out. It doesn't look like sun scorch. It is very specific to uh, verticillium wilt. So when you have this issue on a pot ground plant and you think, you know what, I've got a two year guarantee from the garden centre on this plant and take it back. They're going to try and not give you money back and blame you for it by saying that it's been too dry or too sunny. But believe me, aces don't mind a bit of sun. You'll see plenty of specimens in full sun, no problems at all. But psyllium wilt is not drying out. It is highly characteristic and once you know what to look for, 
very easy for you to diagnose it. Now this poor specimen has been suffering from an infection of verticillium wilt for a few years now and, and you can tell by this massive uh, branch dieback right here. I mean it's still alive uh, around the other side but in time this will start to come down or at least turn up somewhere else. But you know you don't want to wait until you see this before you realise you've got a problem. You want to look at the leaves and, uh, and pretty much you see this sort of isolated uh, compartmentalised damage like this little bit of damage here. These tip ends are quite common to get that one that's quite good uh, these tip ends here and these like little mottled markings all really characteristic of verticillium well hold on a minute hold on a minute i've got something important to say if you've enjoyed this video or just find some of the information in it useful to you then consider clicking on the like button that way it makes it a lot easier for youtube to find other people who want to find that information anyway no further ado let's continue finding out what old boil but has to say so these dead little patches in the leaf that's where it all starts from and as the the fungus grows and infects more of it and becomes bigger within the plant then larger sections of the plant so it won't be just parts of the leaf it'll be a whole leaf and it'll go from a whole leaf to like a, a stem of leaves and then a branch full of stems of leaves and that's when most people start to spot it is when you've got a whole flipping branch that is completely dead and you think well half my half my tree is alive half my tree is dead how on earth can that be well we've explained enough about that so far so what can you do about it? Well, yes, you can remove the dead old branches, at least it'll make your plant look like it's okay, but it's not gonna stop it. And no, you can't apply a fungicide that's gonna treat it because that won't work either. The only real method of combating the verticillium will is to try and give your plant the, the best opportunity to grow so that it outgrows the march, the relentless march of the verticillium wilt fungus. So, keep it well watered over the summer, you know, feed it. Um, that's really all you can do. That's the only management in place is just try and look after it better than you were. <sighs> so you can see the problem with it. You can see the problem with it. It is unresolvable. It is in slow decline. It is inevitable that your plant will die. So I am not the bearer of good news on this. It's, uh, it's a terrible thing to get, which is why it really annoys me that you see so much of it and it could all have been avoidable if people had better hygiene practices in the nurseries. So there you have it, that is why your Acer has got dying branches. And we've explained what causes it, and we've explained what you can do about it, which really isn't much at all. So uh, it's not good news. Anyway, if you've got any, any tips, comments, or if you've got some advice or some secret magic formula that can repair uh, or fix your problem with dying branches on nations and let us know. Everybody wants to know the answer to that one. Put it in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Well, if you enjoyed that, we've got plenty more videos for you to look at. Just have a quick search into our video uh, library. Otherwise, you can check on this one here. And uh, if that's not your uh, cup of tea, try that one there. Enjoy, enjoy these while I've still got the energy to do them. <laughs>